So a same-sex couple completely outraged on the verge of suing after one of their engagement pictures was used in an anti-gay political mailer. Here is the original picture of Brian Edwards and Tom Privetere. It shows them kissing in front of the New York City skyline. But without their knowledge, the group Public Advocate of the United States allegedly took that picture, altered it to add a snowy background, and the words, State Senator Gene White's idea of family values. White is a Republican state senator in Colorado who just lost her primary. She voted in favor of civil unions for same-sex couples. With me now are Brian Edwards and Tom Privetere with their attorney, Christine Sun of the Southern Poverty Law Center, who joins the conversation uh, from San Francisco as well. It's great to have all of you here. But, Brian, how did you become aware that your image, uh, your photo, beautiful photo, uh, something you were probably very excited about, but how did you realize that it was used in a, this way? Um, I got an email from a friend who saw the attack ad in a Daily News article. And so what did you do the moment that happened? Um, I rushed home. Uh, I started looking on the Internet to see uh, if I could find more information about, you know, how this came to be and uh, what it was used for. And I found an article by Lynn Bartels of the Denver Post um, about these attack ads in Colorado. And then we called Ms. Bartels and spoke to her on the phone. So it's amazing to think here you guys are all the way in New York. Your image is being used to create some nasty political campaigns taking place within Colorado without your permission. Tom, you, Brian, and your photographer, you have now taken action. Uh, to make sure that this image is not used. What has the response been as you've tried to complain about the use of the, the fair use of this photo and the inappropriate manner in which it was used uh, for, for what it was trying to prove politically? Well, the response uh, from the general public has been outstanding. Uh, we, we've been getting so many messages of support and love uh, thrown our way. It's been great. Uh, the response from uh, the public advocate of the U.S., that I'm not sure on uh, probably something Christine can answer a little better than we can. Well, let's talk about Eugene Delgadio, president of public advocate of the U.S., told ABC News last week, quote, I am searching whether or not we have the photo. This may be the first objection in 30 years. Frankly, or we are not distributing this photo, and I'd be hard-pressed to find anything today. Mostly, this is an attack on me from previous statements that I have made. Christine, legally, what rights does Tom and Brian have in trying to make sure that this image is not used in a way that is against what it was originally intended for, a celebration of their marriage. Well, Tom and Brian have rights not to have their image misappropriated for uses that they didn't authorize. And certainly, it seems pretty clear that a couple does not want their engagement photo to be used in a political attack right. ad. So how we're representing Tom and Brian and also the photographer, Christina. How, how, has the, how has the group responded to you, though? What's the next step? Well, we're waiting for a response directly. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Delgadio has resorted to name-calling instead of taking accountability for his actions, um, calling the Southern Poverty Law Center a prehistoric dinosaur. And instead of just taking accountability for his actions and um, saying that he will stop using the photo. And guys, so uh, married life other than this is going well so far? Yeah, it was wonderful. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll keep our eyes on this and see what happens. Uh, but obviously the image not being used in the way that it was intended for. Christine, thank you. Brian and Tom, we thank you guys for coming in and sharing part of your story with us. Thank you.